In Slat today we're going to go three letters which are Saad, Sin and Zai and they come from Tarf and Lisan which is the edge of the tongue. Tarf and Lisan. Three letters, Saad, Sin and Zai. Taking a closer look at these three letters, okay, so you have the Sin and Zai. Both of these letters emanate from the lower jaw, okay. You're placing the tip of your tongue behind the central incisors, okay? So behind the lower central incisors. And you will place it at the meeting point of the gum line and these central incisors. So around about here where my laser light is pointing, okay? So the gum line, the meeting point between the gum line and the central incisors. That's where you will say C, S, and there's a slight hissing sound in the C, S, C, S, and also from there you will say Z, Z, and a slight buzzing sound on the Z, Z, S, Z, and S. And we don't want to emphasize the characteristics of these letters, so not S, so S, Z. So that's where we placed our tongue for these two letters. Now what we want to do is slide that tongue to the top end of the central incisors. So we are sliding our tongue and placing it at the back of our central incisors. And we're saying the letter sword, so, su, su, so, su, so, so. So I'm raising the back of my tongue and I'm circling, circulating my lips in this manner. And that's how you should also do with the bod. So any heavy letters and the raw, you will circulate your lips like this. There should be a um, space between that. So it shouldn't be exactly like this. So you shouldn't uh, circulate your lips completely without an opening. You should have a slight opening in it when you're saying the letter sword. And you're emanating it from the back, and from, from the lower jaw, from behind your central incisors, but touching the top end of the central incisors. And you slide your tongue down and touch your central incisors for C and Xi. And that's inshallah how you articulate these letters. Here we'll just go through how to raise the tongue. So for the sword you will raise the tongue and it should be like that. And when you and you see the image here, so this is where the letters emanate from is from the um bottom incisors behind the bottom incisors. Um, raising your tongue will make the sword heavy. And here you have seen and then the Zai and you are using the tip of your tongue and touching the palates with that okay and you need to man maintain the other two letters soft and make sure the sword is heavy there is always a different a difference between sa and so so sa so you need to ensure that you are distinguishing the sound between sa and so and if you just keep your lips like this on the saw and raise the back of your tongue and ensure that your 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 tongue tip of your tongue is touching this part inshallah that will make sure that your saw is heavy for the scene make sure that you are touching the meeting point of the gum line and the teeth